Hello friends, welcome, welcome to this channel. I am Arun Kumar and this is Chemistry Characters with Bono. Today we are going to discuss what is the reason for layer separation in phenyl solution and how we can solve the problem, how we can rectify the problem. Before that we will see what is phenyl solution and where it is being used. This is pine oil. We are mixing pine oil with water and preparing a disinfectant solution that is called as phenyl solution. We are not using concentrated pine oil as disinfectant solution. We are mixing pine oil in water and preparing a solution. So this is pine oil solution that becomes phenyl solution. Pine oil is a natural material derived from pine trees. It is a pine forest and it is located in India. Most Christmas trees are pine. The advantages of pine oil are First of all, it is a natural material. It is very good disinfectant and capable of killing bacteria, virus, fungus and moreover it is very effective in repelling insects, mosquitoes and flies. Apart from disinfectant, it is a very good cleaning material. It is less toxic to human being. When comparing with other disinfectants, its level of toxicity is comparatively low. It is eco-friendly and completely biodegradable. For these reasons, it is globally accepted as a disinfectant. Generally, it is being used as disinfectant for bathrooms and toilets. In corridors, all the schools, colleges, hospitals and other public buildings, it is the best disinfectant. Mostly it is not being used as domestic floor cleaner, but some people may include pine oil as one of the ingredient in floor cleaners. Now let's come to the main topic. What is the reason for layer separation in phenyl solution and how to avoid it? Before that, we will recall some technical points related to that concept. Density of water 1 liter of water is equal to 1 kg of water. This ratio is applicable only for water, not for any other liquids. Depends upon the nature of the material. Some materials are soluble in water. Some other materials are insoluble in water. In case of insoluble materials, if its density is less than water, then it will float over the surface of the water. If its density is greater than water, then it will tend to settle at the bottom. If its density is more or less equal to water, then it will give suspension like solution. We know pine oil is a very good disinfectant, but it is not necessary to use concentrated pine oil as disinfectant. Generally, 25 to 30 ml pine oil in 1 liter of water. This dilution is capable of killing all the microorganisms. 
இட் இஸ் பைன் ஆயில் ஆயில் வில் நாட் மிக்ஸ் வித் வாட்டர் இம்மிசிபிள் So we are using a emulsifier and achieving the process of mixing pine oil in water. In 1 liter of phenyl solution, nearly 950 ml is water, water alone. The remaining 50 ml is the all other materials. Here the understanding is if any layer separation in phenyl solution means that is only from this 50 ml. Any one or more material from this 50 ml is not getting dissolved in water. Now let's discuss in that 50 ml what are the possible materials and also whether it is soluble in water or not. In that 50 ml, these are all the possible materials. Phenyl compound, perfume, color, preservative, thickening materials, that's all. Now let's discuss the solubility of all the materials one by one. First, phenyl compound. Again, phenyl compound is a not single chemical. It is mixer of pine oil, emulsifier, and most probably some of the cleaning materials so we need to discuss all possibilities many methods many formulas are available for phenyl compound preparation two or three formulas are most popular we will discuss what are the possible materials in that formulas salt soap oleic acid sles tro alfox 200 acid slurry rosin gum ipa polysorbate even these materials are also rarely being used among these materials we will discuss one by one whether it is soluble in water or not first soft soap soft soap is completely soluble in water but it depends upon the making process depends upon the quality of soft soap sometimes it may not dissolve it may give some layer separation soft soap is prepared by means of saffronification reaction saffronification of castor oil with either potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide if the stoichiometric ratio is correct then the soft soap is good no problem but if little less amount of lye is used then in soft soap there is possibility for some amount of unreacted castor oil so this castor oil will separate as a layer during the formation of phenyl solution and another thing in castor oil itself many great quality are possible so we cannot believe literature value for lye solution and one more thing for soap itself there are some solubility level in water in particular volume of water only particular amount of soap will tend to soluble the extra soap may have chances to form a layer so these are all the possible reasons for layer separation due to the quality of the soft soap alone next oleic acid oleic acid is not soluble in water in phenyl compound if oleic acid is in exact composition then it will not make any problem if oleic acid is little extra means this will make a layer in phenyl solution next sles we know very well sles is completely soluble in water next turkey red oil it is also completely soluble dispersible material in water next acid slurry we know very well acid slurry is completely soluble in water rosin gum and polysorbate these are all rarely used materials so we can leave it so for layer separation in phenyl solution the important reason is the most important reason is the quality of the phenyl compound if the formula if the ratio is not correct for your raw materials then it will give layer separation 
in case of pine oil itself many grades are available many concentrations are available 22% 32% 65% 80% and more than that also available to understand the importance of ratio in making the phenyl compound we will see one example we will consider pine oil and if i am adding some amount of alfax 200 then alfax 200 is completely soluble in pine oil and again i am adding some more amount of sles again sles is completely soluble miscible with that mixer suppose if i add little extra sles that will separate as base and settle at the bottom this is called as base separation so the formula for phenyl compound is not important the important thing is whether that formula is okay for our materials any problem means either you have to alter the formula or you have to change the quality or quantity of the raw materials next perfume some perfumes are water soluble some perfumes are oil soluble and each and every single perfume is not individual chemical it is mixture of 10 to 15 individual chemicals so before choosing a perfume for our phenyl solution we should ensure that that perfume is completely miscible with phenyl compound in case of pigments some pigments are soluble in water some pigments are oil soluble uh, anything is possible some pigments may tend to float over the surface some pigments may tend to settle at the bottom especially if we are using any thickening material and if we are not following the proper process proper method then there is plenty of possibility for layer separation due to color generally preservatives are not a reasons for layer separation in here it is our duty to ensure that our preservative is okay for our process if we are using any thickening material means we have to follow the specific method for how to use how to include that material in our formulations and also we should not use excess material to find out the reason for layer separation in phenyl compound we have to apply all these ideas collectively here the problem is it is possible to find out the reason for layer separation by collectively applying all these ideas but it is difficult to rectify the problem it is difficult to remove the layers in phenyl solution so it is not correct actually it is not good practice uh, finding the reason for layer separation and trying to rectify all those things the best practice is preparing phenyl solution without layer separation now we will discuss how to prepare phenyl solution without layer separation choose any one established formula and fix the formula first then fix the process depends upon the availability of your manpower and infrastructure plan and fix how you are going to execute all the process fix the materials quantity and quality what materials you are going to use what grade you are going to use how much quantity you are going to use and from where you are going to purchase everything and also you should not change the quantity and quality of perfumes preservatives colors thickening materials everything after fixing everything this is your system just ensure that your system is correct take one or two liters of phenyl trial batch and keep it settling for 15 days during this time check its quality smell clarity is there any layer separation everything if you are completely satisfied again do one more trial batch and give free samples 
to your friends and relatives and give sufficient time for them to check its quality and then get feedback if you are getting the positive feedback means it is okay fix everything so the layer separation is not only depends upon the formula it depends upon the process and also the materials suppose if you are getting negative feedback then listen them carefully and try to find out the problem either you need to change or alter the formula or you need to change the quantity or quality of the raw materials at this juncture i'd like to discuss one thing you are giving samples to others after your personal verification but you are getting negative feedback so the problem is we are not capable of estimating the product in customer's point of view that is more important anyhow we have to do this trial batches till our personal satisfaction and also till we are getting the positive feedback from at least 2 or 3 persons from outside after getting the positive feedback we have to freeze everything our machine is a success and we can prepare vinyl solution without layer separation to prepare vinyl solution without layer separation first we need to fix the formula then we need to fix the process then we need to fix the materials quantity and quality we need to verify the trial batch and we need to get the positive feedback for our trial batch from our friends and relatives thank you friends thank you for watching this video your suggestions and feedbacks are always welcome we'll meet in our upcoming videos